aside from throwing water in my water bottles, my 2021 Salsa Timber Jack XT, ready to go. Ended up going with the Salsa frame bag. Why not? It fits perfectly, easy to order. Uh, got the lower bottle cage right there. Thought I could hold a water bottle in it, but as soon as I compressed that front shock, it was hitting the front tire. I thought that would uh, be a really bad OTB. Some of the trails I go are pretty aggressive for bike backing. Um, vacuum sealed a extra tube right there and instead of a water bottle just this my maintenance kit some extra sealant extra lube um, um, co2 cartridges to reset a bead if i needed to but what's not on there alongside the the, the edge right there is my pump it's currently in my uh, camelback which I will not be wearing for this, so I need to make sure that I put that in there. On the front, just did a, a tube roll, slid it in here where the cables went nicely up there. This one stayed right to the outside. Um, it's, it's pretty good. Um, Sahu, Amazon, uh, and I got these couple little bottle holders again Amazon and Blackburn Blackburn uh, something with the something with the salsa has the uh, you can bolt these bags to the top so I got this one here with the little magnetic buckle easy to get in and out got a toe peak right here uh, just for a Another good bag. This has some first aid stuff. A couple little um, extra straps, tourniquet, pads, band-aids. The video I attached to this. Bike's a little heavy, doesn't want to stay on the sand. We'll show that I have my well, water filtration because I'm only going to bring those two bottles so I can refill them as I need. Then I got just it's crazy. I got oatmeal, coffee, a couple freezer uh, food bags, got a couple Trader Joe's things along with this can of chickpeas, ground coffee, and all that fits right in there. Uh, and then the the other side, this this zipper here is about this much and that's got a handful of bars. Got my Celiac saddle. Let's the middle business blood still flow. I got my pillow in my cook set to help fill out that bag. And then I got my sleeping bag right there. So in this front section is my sleeping pad, my tent and poles. The other thing that's in here is my footprint. Like I basically got a piece of Tyvek cut to the right dimensions, laid out, sit on it, whatever. Um, this rack here is really cool. It's the Aero, A-E-R-O, spider rack. I basically, I think you get this and one side. I don't know, that's $200. And then you gotta get it, pay 75 or $80 for another one. You could mount another one here to the top if you wanted to. Um, trying to avoid that. So at least for right now, this is good to go. And this is an easy grab point for the bike if I'm trying to get up and over logs or, or whatever. But, you know, at least for a few day 
camping trip, get dropped off on a Friday, ride a bit, ride all day Saturday, get up Sunday, ride till midday, get picked up. Should get dropped off in about Santa Barbara. Take my time, hit some hot springs, and then have my lovely wife pick me up in Ojai. But yeah, I just, this, this rear rack is just so cool because it, it just attaches so nicely to the rear seat stay. And you can unbolt these four bolts, you unbolt these, these come off to get this like to fit on this rear seat stay. Uh, and then once you tighten it all down, it's solid. I'll let you know how it goes after the ride, but uh, I don't know if you've tried these WTB comfort zone grips, but I got really bad wrist and kind of like the old ergo grips but the the er ergons um that had like a nice big flange it only had um, single point to lock on not double so this is double locking because i get pretty aggressive in technical riding and then you know the old ones slipped these don't slip plus they're fatter for a lot of vibration dampening um, so, if you've never tried those, I wholeheartedly recommend those. They have increased my riding time. And if you're not familiar with the Selly X, Selly Anatomica, you can adjust it with this little bolt right here to make these independent leather straps here work with your sit bones while letting everything uh, blood flow go as needed but yeah that's dropper post really nice look at that now the seat is a hundred percent out of the way just streamlined on there doesn't interfere these 2.6 29 by 2.6 tires, 2.6 with about 24 in the rear and 22 in the front. Again, especially for a hardtail, tons of vibration dampening. Got the Cro-Mag Scarab uh, flat pedals, nice big wide platform, reduces fatigue. My 510 shoes just as damn near like you're clipped in. But, anyhow, that's it. Maybe I'll see you out there someday.